So we're here with uh, Daniel Poneman, the Deputy Secretary of Energy. Dan, great presentation today and glad that you were able to come. Uh, added enormously to the discussion. A um, couple things we wanted to follow up on. So we talked a lot today about uh, uh, the shale gas revolution and this tide oil. What are the implications for the United States and, and globally as well? Well, the implications are, are enormous, uh, Frank, as you know, in, in both dimensions. We have now gone from being uh, a net importer of uh, oil to, uh, for the first time since 1949, a net exporter of product. Right. Obviously, our imports have d dipped below 50 percent for the first time in, in 13 years. And you heard uh, from Ed Morse's uh, presentation, if you take this together with uh, Canada and uh, from a North American perspective, we could be up to on the order of 20 million barrels a day of oil production by 2020. Right. So it's transformational. The shale gas story is, is well known. Uh, out of an economy of about uh, 22 trillion cubic feet annually of uh, uh, gas uh, use, we have gone from uh, 4 or 5 percent just 4 or 5 years ago to over 30 percent that's coming out of shale gas. So this uh, is not only transformational for the United States, but because the geographic dispersion of these resources is so much more even uh, than some of the earlier uh, major hydrocarbon bases and, and uh, gas plays. Uh, we are now finding right around the world, as you know from our Energy and Information yeah. Administration, tremendous opportunities for shale gas to be developed in places as far flung as China, uh, Argentina, obviously uh, Poland and parts of, uh, of Europe uh, and South Africa. So it not only speaks to a tremendous growth opportunity for low cost energy, but also a great increase in energy security. And for that aspect, which is in the natural gas sphere, we're obviously at the same time reducing the greenhouse gas emissions compared to the other forms of fossil fuel. So two thoughts readily come from that. Uh, so the first one is the implications of this are global, but it's happening in people's backyards. So there's a regulatory structure that has to occur as well as best practices on the on the company side for performance, and then how is this compatible with, with the transformation to lower carbon energy if we have so much of this oil and gas resource still out there? Well, as uh, all of the studies where it's our own Energy Information Administration or the International Energy Agency show, you are going to have, uh, over the next 30 years, still a substantial growth in the use of oil worldwide. It happens that the, in the OECD areas, it's flat or even declining. But when you look at Asia, when you look at transportation, natural gas is a natural bridge as part of our uh, evolution from uh, a more greenhouse gas intensive uh, economy to a, a, a lower one. It has half the greenhouse gas emissions of coal-fired sta uh, stations. We have seen in recent years how gas uh, switching to natural gas has already had a substantial effect in terms of our stationary power generation mix right. in, in this country. So it's actually very consistent with that long-term transformation. So you actually you're bullish on this as well? I am. Absolutely. Given your nuclear background, I have to ask this. So a lot of people um, misread the early Fukushima impacts. It's just now 53 of the 54 uh, nuclear reactors are shut down. But it's had enormous implications for oil and gas growth and use in Japan as well. Uh, oil imports are up 400,000 barrels a day. LNG imports are up as well. Straightening out um, the public perception and the concerns about nuclear, how do we get that going again on a global basis? Well, you've got to get the substance right first. Everybody uh, in, in the world has gone to school on the lessons of Fukushima. President uh, Obama asked our Nuclear Regulatory Commission to take a review of the 104 operating uh, reactors in this country to make sure that they can continue to be operated safely, and they can. But I participated in the International Atomic right. Energy Agency and other efforts to make sure that every lesson that can be learned out of the Fukushima experience is being taken fully into account because the same kinds of considerations will apply no matter where the nuclear power is being developed. And many countries are continuing to view nuclear power, as President Obama does, as an important element That's of important. a long-term transformation. Right. Mr. Secretary, it's been a pleasure. Thank it's you so pleasure. much. Thank you, Frank. Take care.